वेलकम एवरी वन वी फिनिश द चैप्टर माइक्रोब्स इन ह्यूमन वेलफेयर विल ट्राई टू सॉल्व एग्जाम्पलर एम सी क्यूज ऑल्सो फ्रॉम दिस चैप्टर ओके सो नाव आई हैव रिटर्न ऑल द एग्जाम्पलर क्वेश्चन देर आर सम सेवेंटीन एम सी क्यूज रिलेटेड टू दिस चैप्टर विल ट्राई टू सॉल्व दम एज आई टोल्ड यू एन सी आर टी टेक्सट बुक इज योर फर्स्ट बुक टू क्रैक एन सी आर टी फॉलोड बाई एन सी आर टी एग्जाम्पलर क्वेश्चन नो लेट इस डिस्कस द क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द चैप्टर द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉट दे हैव गिवेन इज द विटामिन हूज कंटेंट इंक्रीजेस बाई कन्वर्शन ऑफ मिल्क टू कर्ड इज बाई लैक्टोबैसिलई दे आर आस्किंग अस वॉट इज दैट विटामिन विच इज इंक्रीज वेन द मिल्क इज गेटिंग कन्वर्टेड टू कर्ड वेन मिल्क इज गेटिंग कन्वर्टेड टू कर्ड हु इज डूइंग दैट लैक्टोबैसिल इज डूइंग दैट लैक्टोबैसिल सेक्रेट्स अ विटामिन इन टू द कर्ड वॉट इज दैट विटामिन डू यू नो द आंसर इज विटामिन बी ट्वेल्व ओके सो Vitamin B12 is the answer. That is why we tell curd is more nutritious than milk. Okay, children. Second question: Waste water treatment generates large quantity of sludge. Can be treated by. So when we are doing sewage treatment, it generates large quantities of sludge. That sludge can be treated by anaerobic digesters or flocks or oxidation ponds or chemicals. Now. in secondary treatment we use a word called sludge right so first we do aeration tank then settling tank from settling tank we go to anaerobic digester anaerobic sludge digester now what we need to do to remove the sludge we need anaerobic sludge digester right so they asked us how will you treat the sludge now we know that in secondary treatment we have a third step what is it called anaerobic sludge digester it converts that Uh, material into biogas so ma the answer is a now third question methanogens are not found in methanogens are the organisms which make biogas gobar gas they are present in the rumen of the cattle ruminates right so methanogens are not found in just now i told they are found in the rumen of the cattle and the secret an enzyme called cellulase that cellulase will help in digestion of the cellulose right so they are present in the rumen of the cattle correct they are present in the gobar gas plant also they are present in the rumen of the cattle which is part of stomach from there it comes to the cow dung also cow dung is a raw material for gobar gas also in that plant also methanogens are there now bottom of the water logged paddy fields methanogenesis biogas production is an anaerobic production now in bottom logged water uh, logged paddy fields there are also anaerobic conditions are there wherever anaerobic conditions are there we find methanogens fourth one is activated sludge what do you mean by activated sludge the waste which is rich with oxygen activated sludge means the waste which is rich with oxygen is called activated sludge if oxygen is there then methanogenic bacteria will die because they need anaerobic conditions so i think methanogens are not found in means activated sludge why they are not found in activated sludge due to oxygen oxygen is not required for that so that's why they'll not grow there right the answer is d now they asked us to do match the following so i just took it in this way come on tell me aspergillus niger helps us in production of which acid acetobacter estai which acid clostridium butyricum which acid lactobacilli which acid so lactobacilli helps in production of lactic acid lactobacilli lactic acid butyricum butyric acid clostridium butyricum helps in production of butyric acid then acetobacter acetai acetic acid then left with aspergillus niger which is a fungus which helps in production of citric acid it helps in production of citric acid i must see all these three are easy lactobacilli lactic acid butylicum butyric acid acetai acetic acid this you remember aspergillus niger which is a fungus which helps in production of citric acid right children fourth question now there are some bioactive amines here now come on statin is produced from which organism cyclosporine from which organism lipase from which organism and streptokinase from which organism do you remember about statin what is statin statin acts as a competitive inhibitor for hmg coa reductase enzyme statin acts as a competitive inhibitor for hmg coa reductase enzyme and it stops cholesterol synthesis right 
it stops cholesterol synthesis now statin is extracted from an yeast called monaceous purpureus Monaceous purpureus. From this yeast, statin is extracted. What is the role of statin? It helps in decreasing the cholesterol synthesis. Now, cyclosporin A. What is cyclosporin A? It is immunosuppressant. It suppresses the immune system. To whom do we give this? We give this for uh, people who have undergone transplantation, kidney transplantation, organ transplantation. Cyclosporin A is extracted from a fungus called trichoderma polysporum cyclosporin a which is an immunosuppressive agent is extracted from a fungus called trichoderma polysporum the third one is lipase lipases are extracted from bacteria they are used in laundry industry detergent industry to remove the oil stains present on the clothes lipases they are used in laundry laundry industry and they are extracted from bacteria the names are not given no need to remember also then streptokinase it is a clot buster it dissolves the blood clots in the blood vessels, arteries and veins and protects us from not getting this myocardial infraction, atherosclerosis, heart attack and all. So when the blood vessels are blocked with cholesterol esters, with cholesterol clots, this streptokinase enzyme will go and dissolve the clot because of its fibrinolytic activity. So streptokinase is a bioactive amine enzyme extracted from a bacteria called streptococcus, extracted from streptococcus right this is bacterial this is also bacterial this is fungal and this is yeast from yeast which is yeast is also a fungus only right children now let's move on to the sixth question primary treatment of wastewater involves the removal of we know in sewage treatment in ncrt they have given that sewage is being treated at two stages primary treatment and secondary treatment Primary treatment is called as physical treatment. We do filtration and sedimentation and we try to remove the solid particles, right? We try to remove the solid particles. Whereas secondary treatment is called biological treatment where we use aerobic, anaerobic organisms to remove the organic matter. Now, primary treatment of wastewater involves the removal of dissolved impurities. Huh? Dissolved impurities in secondary treatment we do. Now, stable particles are... Huh? or toxic substances are harmful bacteria na. see toxic substances and dissolved impurities in the secondary treatment we do so stable particles so stones pebbles polythene water bottles all those things so the answer is b seventh question ma bod what is bod biological oxygen demand bod will be high for polluted water bod of wastewater is estimated by measuring the amount of will we measure the organic matter present in the cv sample or we are measuring the oxygen consumed by the bacteria come on think what is the full form of bod biological oxygen demand biological microorganisms are using how much oxygen to decompose the organic matter present in one liter of the sample right so what are you checking here oxygen demand oxygen consumption we are checking so we tell the answer is oxygen consumption that is why we tell bod is an indirect method we are not directly checking the organic matter present in the sewage we are checking the oxygen consumption based on that we can indirectly tell this much organic matter is there okay children so seven questions did you understand let's move on to the eighth question which of the following alcoholic drink is produced without distillation alcoholic beverages now depending upon the alcoholic content depending upon the processing we divide them into distilled beverages and non-distilled beverages so distilled beverages since you are doing distillation purification evaporation the alcohol content will be 40 percent 50 percent 70 percent 80 percent they are asking in which of these four distillation is not done right beer and wine are non-distilled beverages where the alcohol content will be four to seven percent four to eight 
percent. So beer or wine should be there in the answer. Yes, wine is there. So ma, this is the answer. Whereas rum, whiskey, brandy, they have more than 40 percent, 50 percent of alcohol content and alcohol consumption is dangerous. It's not at all good to health. Next one. Technology of biogas in India was developed by. In India, biogas technology was developed by two organizations. One organization is IARI. The second one is KVIC. What are the two organizations, Amma? One is IARI with collaboration with KVIC. Indian Agricultural Research Institute. IARI stands for Indian Agricultural Research Institute with the Kadi and Village Industries Commission. Kadi and Village Industries Commission. These two people have developed the technology of biogas, right, which is very much helpful in villages and rural areas. Okay. Now, free living fungus. Trichoderma is used for. The last topic in the chapter is use of biofertilizers, right? Use of biofertilizers, biocontrol agents. Before that is biocontrol agents. Under that we study free living fungus trichoderma will check the plant diseases, right? It checks the plant diseases. When the roots of the plant are infested with trichoderma, it will not allow the plant pathogens to cause disease. So free living fungus trichoderma acts as a biocontrol agent. It acts as a biocontrol agent. It acts as a biocontrol agent and prevents the plant from it prevents the plant from plant diseases. Right, children. Then eleventh question: What would happen if oxygen availability in the activated sludge flocks is reduced after doing primary treatment, filtration, and sedimentation? Whatever the primary effluent is there, we bring it to the secondary treatment. In secondary treatment, we first drop it in a big tank, which is called aeration tank. We flush too much of oxygen. We have an agitator system to mix, right? And we constantly supply oxygen because the organic matter is oxidized by the aerobic bacteria organic matter will grow more when you provide more oxygen here the question is what will happen if the oxygen availability uh, what would happen if the oxygen availability to the activated sludge is reduced then we will tell bacteria cannot grow more then the organic matter is not efficiently decomposed so we can write bacteria show reduced growth bacteria shows reduced growth and they oxidation all levels also will become less oxidation oxidizing the organic matter also becomes less means the sieves decomposition is getting slowered next question 12th question mycorrhiza does not help the plant in see under bio fertilizers we study about mycorrhiza what are mycorrhiza myca means fungi rhiza means roots so fungus is making symbiotic associations with the roots of the higher plant it is called mycorrhiza so this mycorrhizal filaments will be like root filaments only they go deep into the soil absorb more water more minerals give it to the plant so enhances the phosphate uptake just now i told mycorrhiza will absorb more minerals this is correct increases tolerance to drought yes even if you don't water the mycorrhizal filaments can go deep into the soil take too much of water from the soil so it will cope up the plant to tolerate drought yes then enhances resistance to root pathogens mycorrhiza fungus is going into the cortical cells it is making a network it will not give any scope for the root pathogens yes increase the resistance to insects usually insect will infect the root uh, shoot and leaves and buds and flowers uh, it will infect root shoot and buds right so where is the mycorrhiza with the root so mycorrhiza doesn't have any relation with the insect so they ask this mycorrhiza does not help the plant in so insect resistance is the answer okay children if it is bacteria bacillus thuringiensis yes it shows insect resistance 13th question amma which of the following is not a nitrogen fixer now soil is a very poor source of nitrogen then bacteria cyanobacteria help in nitrogen fixation and provide nitrogen to the plant nitrogen is very much required by the plant nitrogen is a macronutrient for the plant so anabina it's a cyanobacteria it will do nitrogen fixation nostoc again it will do nitrogen fixation this is also a cyanobacterial member um, this is also a cyanobacterial member 
Azotobacter is a bacteria, but it has nitrogen fixing ability. Coming to the last option, Pseudomonas. Pseudomonas, it's a bacteria, but it doesn't have an ability to do nitrogen fixation. Pseudomonas pitida, superbug, clearing oil spills, there we studied, not here. So, which of the following is not a nitrogen fixer means Pseudomonas is not a nitrogen fixer. Next question. Big holes in the Swiss cheese is due to microbes in household production. There we studied, right? So, we studied raw cheese and ripened cheese. Under raw cheese, we studied royal cheese, Swiss cheese, which is produced by a bacteria called Propionibacterium shermani. Its characteristic feature is big holes because of that big carbon dioxide evolution. Big holes in Swiss cheese is due to more carbon dioxide produced by a bacteria called Propionibacterium shermani is due to carbon dioxide evolution by Propioni bacterium shermani. Okay, children. Then, 15th question. Residue left after biogas can be used as. So, check the previous lectures. There we have seen the detailed diagram of biogas plant. And we discussed the last one is the overflow tank where the waste will be collected which is used as manure for the plant cultivation. That's the question they are asking. Residue left after biogas can be used as manure to the plants. So, the answer is manure. Right children. Then 16th question. Methanogens do not produce. Methanogens produce biogas, gober gas, clar gas, marsh gas. All these are the names. Okay. So, methanogenic bacteria produce methane as a major gas. Carbon dioxide will also be there. H2 will also be there. Okay, H2S will also be there, but oxygen should not be there because methanogenic, methanogenesis is anaerobic process. Oxygen, it interferes, it stops. So, methanogenic bacteria do not produce, answer should be oxygen. It will not produce oxygen. It will produce carbon dioxide, it will produce methane, it will produce H2, it will produce H2S, right? Right. Now, ladybird, where is it used? Mycorrhiza, where it is used? They have given this question. Ladybird. What is ladybird? It is a predator for aphids, right? Ladybird is a predator for what? Aphids. If you want to control aphids, introduce ladybird. Ladybird will not harm your crop, but it will eat off the pest called aphid. Mycorrhiza. Just now we saw mycorrhiza. It is a symbiotic association of roots with the fungi. Mycorrhiza. Example, globus. Example for a fungi which makes mycorrhiza is glomus. Okay. Biogas is produced by methanogenic bacteria. Biogas is produced by methanogenic bacteria, methanococcus, methanobacteria, right? And fungal biocontrol agent, example for fungus which is acting as a biocontrol, somewhere we saw, yeah, trichoderma. Fungal biocontrol, example is trichoderma and virus biocontrol baculovirus right example is baculovirus which belongs to a genus called nucleopolyhedrovirus helps in integrated pest management so virus acting as a biocontrol example is baculovirus which is very much narrow specific it kills only a particular insect, particular pest. Fungal biocontrol, trichoderma checks. Other plant pathogens will not infect. Biogas is produced by Archibacter called Methanobacterium. Mycorrhiza produced by Glomus, right? Glomus is a fungus which makes mycorrhizal associations. Then ladybird, it is a predator for aphid. Hope you understood the NCRT example questions, 17 questions from this chapter. Take a screenshot, then we will also discuss about the NCRT exercise questions. Some 15 questions are there at the end of the chapter. That also we will discuss. First, take a screenshot of this. Right, children? Can I erase this? Now, these are MCQs. We will discuss the descriptive questions also which have been mentioned in the ncrt at the end of the chapter now if you are having ncrt can you open page number 189 if you are having ncrt come on all of you open ncrt textbook look at the ncrt exercise questions given in page number 189 
we will discuss those questions also and we will make our concepts even more clear so that let them ask from any corner so we know the answer how to attempt it take page number 189 ncrt textbook we will see one by one now the first question what they have given in ncrt exercises page number 189 i think now question number one in ncrt it goes like bacteria they are microorganisms why are they microorganisms we cannot see them with the naked eye we need to focus it under microscope right then only we can see so if you want to see bacteria under microscope what sample do you take to see the microorganisms the best sample is uh, curd right buttermilk right which contains lactobacilli so what sample do you take we take curd right which contains lactobacilli we will take curd to the college we will mix it with water we will dilute it we will take a glass slide on the glass slide add a drop of the curd sample keep it on the burner heat it so that the buttermilk fixes to the glass slide then stain it wash it and observe under microscope you can see nice rod shaped bacteria so you will see it under microscope that is a first question second question they asked give example to prove microorganisms release gas during metabolism so the second question in ncrt exercises is give an example to prove that microorganisms release gas during metabolism ama idli fermented idli fermented dosa cheese or bread in all those things the bread has holes the cheese has holes idli dosa also has that pluffiness is because of carbon dioxide evolved only right all that is the example so what examples we can give we can give idli dosa bread even in cheese so that pluffiness is because of carbon dioxide gas which is evolved right so in bread yeast will evolve carbon dioxide in cheese bacteria and fungi will evolve carbon dioxide in idli and dosa bacteria will evolve carbon dioxide so this is the experiment now next question question number three in ncrt they ask the question name some traditional indian foods where we use rice wheat and bengal gram name some traditional foods where we use rice where we use wheat and where we use bengal gram is a question amma come on tell me for idli and dosa do we use rice yes now for bread do we use wheat yes and again bengal gram or black gram if you take again in rice idli and dosa we have bengal gram or black gram or if you take uh, what is that uh, dokla in dokla we use bengal gram again which is a fermented dish okay so then next question question number 4 in ncrt they are asking okay this is question number 4 children now let's talk about question number 3 question number 3 like in which food you find lactic acid bacteria repeatedly same question in which food do you find lactic acid bacteria in curd we find lactic acid bacteria right in curd we find lactic acid bacteria lab what is the use of lactic acid bacteria lactic acid bacteria they secret vitamin b12 and they make the curd more nutritious they make the curd more nutritious right so this is the fourth question now let's go on to question number five in ncrt exercises in which way microorganisms plays an important role in controlling diseases caused by harmful bacteria is a fifth question right in which way microorganisms plays important role in controlling in controlling harmful bacteria come on tell me how microorganisms are controlling harmful bacteria by producing antibiotics are huh? 
micro organisms they produce antibiotics those antibiotics will kill the pathogens so micro organisms microbes what do they produce they produce antibiotics they produce antibiotics for example penicillium notatum produces an antibiotic called penicillin this penicillin kills it's a broad spectral antibiotic it's a broad spectral antibiotic it can kill wide range of pathogens gram positive gram negative fungi many organisms it can kill question number 5 they asked us how microorganisms are helping to kill the harmful bacteria means by producing antibiotics now question number 6 we'll move on in ncert question number 6 is name two species name two species of fungi which produce antibiotics name two species of fungi they asked so one species we already mentioned here it is penicillium notatum is one fungus penicillium notatum is one fungus from which we extract penicillin antibiotic another one we can tell aspergillus fumigatus aspergillus fumigatus from where we extract aspergillin we extract another antibiotic called aspergillin they asked us to list down two fungi and their antibiotics the two fungi are penicillium notatum is one fungi from which we extract an antibiotic penicillin aspergillus fumigatus is another fungi from which we extract aspergillin done children see how fast we are able to solve the exercise questions also question number 7 they ask what is sewage they are asking us what is sewage municipal waste water is sewage is the answer municipal waste water is sewage what is a major component of sewage human excreta is a major component of sewage human excreta is major component of sewage right and they are asking in which way sewage is harmful in which way sewage is harmful sewage contains many pathogenic bacteria sewage contains many pathogenic bacteria which should be decomposed and sewage contains too much of organic matter that organic matter allows the bacteria to grow and creates foul smell so that's why sewage should be treated right children so then question number 8 they asked you question number 7 what is sewage municipal waste water is sewage what is the major composition of sewage human excreta is a major composition of human sewage how is it harmful they asked because it contains pathogenic organisms and it contains organic matter it's not good you have to decompose it in where do you decompose it sewage treatment plants then question number 8 now what is the difference between primary sewage treatment and secondary sewage treatment is the question question number 8 they asked what is the difference between primary treatment of sewage and secondary treatment of sewage yeah ma tell me primary treatment is called physical process and secondary treatment is called biological process primary treatment is physical process secondary treatment is biological process primary treatment why it is called physical process because filtration and sedimentation are involved primary treatment involves filtration and sedimentation secondary treatment involves activated uh, sludge settling tank anaerobic sludge digester secondary treatment involves aeration tanks amma first step in secondary treatment is aeration tanks then we will go to settling tanks then we will go to anaerobic sludge digesters 
so primary treatment includes two steps called filtration sedimentation secondary treatment includes three steps called aeration tanks settling tanks and aerobic sludge digesters physically particles are removed here and dissolved organic matter is reduced there physical particles are removed here whatever the floating and sedimented debris sand stone pebbles all removed here there organic matter is decomposed organic matter is decomposed in a for children three or four points we have seen the differences between primary treatment and secondary treatment take a screenshot where we have discussed eight questions we will continue with the ninth question then yeah let's move on to ninth question if you need any query post them in the comment box so wish to listen from you how are the classes now then next question number nine they are asking in exercise like are microorganisms used for energy generation if so how biogas is a combustible gas which gives heat energy right yes then microorganisms are used for energy generation microbes are used for energy production so the answer is biogas production biogas production name the microorganism methanogens arche bacteria methanogens will do this process then question number 10 let's move on to question number 10 microorganisms are used to microorganisms are used to decrease the use of chemical fertilizers explain how we can do that see chemical fertilizers will damage the soil will damage the air water and the environment so instead if we use a bio fertilizer what are bio fertilizer living microorganisms like bacteria fungi cyanobacteria those bio fertilizers also helps in nitrogen making helps in uh, decomposition and all so we can replace chemical fertilizers chemical fertilizers are replaced by bio fertilizers amma check lecture 10 go back and check lecture 10 it's all about this question only bio fertilizers where we talk about rhizobium bacteria where we talked about frankia where we talked about mycorrhiza then next nostoc enabina all these things kindly check lecture number 10 now let's go on to question number 11 in ncrt exercises in question number 11 they told there are three samples the bod a one sample is 20 milligrams per liter another one is 80 milligrams per liter other one i think it is 400 milligrams per liter the other one is 400 milligrams per liter out of these three they are asking which is river water bod which is untreated sewage bod which is secondary effluent bod they are asking which is the bod of river water which is the bod of un treated sewage sample and which is the bod of secondary effluent right children so now secondary effluent after secondary treatment bod should be very much less right so out of these three come on 20 is less so can i go after secondary treatment whatever is left out which you are discharging into the water bodies has the least bod so secondary effluent amma 20 milliliters per liter is the bod value then untreated sewage highest bod you know it is a 400 according to this data here so untreated sewage 400 milligrams per liter bod it has then river water 
river water means if it is since it's not a pure water it has a moderate level so we can take 80 80 milligrams per liter now after treatment the BOD should be least out of 20 80 400 this is least so that's why I took then untreated sewage should be maximum so that's why I went with 400 then the river water in between I took 80 mg per liter is the BOD value of river water got it children then next one question number 12 in NCRT find out the microorganisms which are used to produce cyclosporin A and statin they asked so cyclosporin A what is cyclosporin A it's a bioactive amine which acts as an immuno suppressive agent cyclosporin A is extracted from a fungus called trichoderma polysporum it is from fungi what is that trichoderma polysporum and continuation statin is produced by an yeast Statin acts as a blood cholesterol lowering agent. It is also bioactive amine. Acts as blood cholesterol lowering agent extracted from an yeast called monaceous purpureus. Right. Question number. 13. So, they are asking us what are the roles of microbes in SCP? What are the roles of microbes in soil making? SCP stands for single cell protein. SCP stands for single cell protein. Right? So, single cell protein, nothing but microorganism itself, like many bacteria, like methylophilus is consumed as source of SCP. Spirulina, chlorella are consumed as SCP. Spirulina, chlorella, methylophilus and yeast also we consume them as SCP, saccharomyces. Why do we consume microorganisms, single cells, why do we consume? As a rich source of proteins, as food supplements we take them. Coming to soil, soil contains many soil bacteria. So, they are the fauna of the soil and they help to enhance the, they decompose the organic matter and they help to enrich the nutrient quantities of the soil. So, soil contains many bacteria, they are called soil bacteria and they help in decomposition of dead matter and they enrich nutrients in soil that's it now next question take a screenshot we will discuss right so the author is asking us to arrange these in order of priority which we use more and which we use less they have given biogas, citric acid, penicillin. Let us arrange. Question number 14. How do you arrange? We, we need biogas, huh? we need curd, huh? we need citric acid, huh? penicillin. Huh? Now come on. Can you imagine life without antibiotic? No. So penicillin goes with the highest order. After penicillin, energy generation, biogas. After biogas, now citric acid. It has many uses. It has many uses. So, citric acid. Whereas, curd has only one use. No, we eat it. That's it. So, curd has only one use. Citric acid, it's used in dyeing. It's used in solvent. So many uses. Biogas energy generation and penicillin. We cannot imagine human life without antibiotic. Good children. Now the last question.
question they asked us like how do biofertilizers enrich the fertility of the soil the question is again how do bio fertilizers enrich the fertility of the soil fertility of the soil again children my advice is 10 where we have detailedly discussed about bio fertilizers in a far we covered ncrt example questions we covered ncrt exercise questions also so if you like the content like share subscribe to my channel meet you soon with another chapter thank you